For today's lesson, we're going to look at one of my favorite books, The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew DeWalt. Most of us have read this book before, and if you haven't, I have linked a reading of the book below so you can watch that to be familiar with this book. It's super funny, and it's basically about how the crayons in Oliver's crayon box one day got tired, and they started writing letters to their owner, Oliver. Um, and I'll just read one or two of them. Here's a letter from Purple Crayon. Now he looks like he's a little bit angry. Look at his face there. He's got a cloud above his head and he's pointing and his eyebrows look angry. Here's the letter he wrote. It says, Dear Duncan, All right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard's hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Some of the crayons are happy. Some of the crayons are upset. Some of them are sad, like Blue Crayon, because he's so short and stubby. Um, orange and yellow crayon are in a fight. Green crayon is writing on behalf of his friends. He says, Dear Duncan, as green crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends yellow crayon and orange crayon who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. See, there's Green Crayon. He looks pretty happy, but he does seem worried about orange and yellow. So your job today is inspired by this book and this um illustrator Oliver Jeffers he's the one who drew the pictures that's a career an artist can have just like photography you could be an illustrator so today you're going to illustrate your own story about what your crayons would say to you if they quit so here's one example that I have finished it is blue crayon and he says dear miss P why do you have to color the whole sky blue it's too much work I'm tired love blue crayon so on your page you're going to draw your favorite color crayon or whatever color you choose and then you're going to write a letter next to it about what your crayon would say to you if you got a letter from your crayon box so the supplies you'll need for today are a piece of paper it can be notebook paper with lines it could be scrap paper it can be the back of a letter you got in the mail anything you want and you need something to draw with i'm going to use crayons but if you don't have crayons at home you can just use a pencil or a pen. You can use markers. It doesn't matter. If you do have crayons, I think we should use those. So once you have your supplies, paper, and something to draw with, like crayons or a pencil, then you need to choose which color your crayon's going to be. I, one of my favorite colors, I have lots. One of my favorite colors is green. So I'm gonna do green this time. When I look at a crayons wrapper, I notice that the crayon color itself, like the tip, is a little bit darker than the wrapper. So the wrapper's still green, but the crayon part is darker. And what else do I notice about the wrapper? It has some details that I don't want to forget in my crayon design. And it goes around the crayon. A crayon is a cylinder. A cylinder is like a 3D rectangle. So that's the first thing we're going to draw is our cylinder to make our crayon. Once I have it drawn, we're going to speed up the video so you can see how you might want to color it. So I want to leave room on my paper to write my letter. I could even turn my paper this way so that I have space for my crayon drawing and over here to write a little letter that my crayon might say to me. To make a cylinder, I'm going to start with a curved line, kind of like a smile. Practice with your finger first when you're ready. 
go ahead and draw that little smile line. That's gonna be the top of the crayon. So if you want your crayon to be bigger, you might need to make it a little bit smaller than I made mine. Then I'm gonna do a frown or a rainbow line above it to make the other half of the top of my crayon. Boom. This shape is called an ellipse. It is the shape that we see kind of like at the top of my mug. Do you see this shape right here? That's the shape we just drew. And now we're gonna draw the sides to make our crayon. I'm gonna draw two straight lines down as tall as I want my crayon to be. In this case, it can't be too tall because my paper is a little bit shorter. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna copy this line, the same curved line, like a smile. It's gonna go right here, but not too deep, just a really little curve line for a smile. It does not need to be perfect. Mine is not perfect. Yours will not be perfect. Yours will be yours. Okay, so that's the basic shape of my crayon, right? Now I need the pointy part at the top, which goes up here. So you can do like a triangle, but I know my crayon's really not quite that pointy. So instead of doing just a triangle, starting in the middle, right here, I'm gonna do like a hill. That kind of has a curve part going up. All right, there we go. Now I've got the top of my crayon, the body of my crayon. You might need legs. I'm not gonna draw the arms yet until I know what the face is gonna be. For the face, I'm gonna switch to black so you can see it. Now, my green crayon is gonna be a happy crayon. My blue one was kind of mad. My green one's gonna be happy. So I'm gonna give him a smile. Two little dots for eyes and happy eyebrows. And that's it. You can think of different faces your crayon will make, but you might have to wait till the end until you know how your crayon is feeling and what they're gonna write in their letter to make the face. So now I have, oh, I should do my arms too. He's happy, so I think he's gonna be giving a thumbs up. And this one will go just down his hip. And just make a little squiggle for the hand. Doesn't need to be fancy. Okay, now I'm going to color. He's not mad like my blue guy was. Um, I start with Dear Miss P or Miss Preshel because it's a letter to me from my crayon. So you would put your name here, Dear, and then you put your name there. That's how you start a letter. Then what is my crayon gonna say? He's gonna say, thank you for choosing me as your favorite color. Yay! It has been an honor and a joy. Love green crayon. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Please send me a picture of your 
crayon and I will read it and show it to everyone on our upcoming announcements. And I will also post them on my school Facebook page. All right, don't forget to read the book, The Day the Crayons Quit, if you haven't or read it or you forget it. It's a really funny and awesome book. Um, and I have linked that story below. Good luck. Can't wait to see what your crayons say to you.